Let's take a look at Math, Grade 4, Module 3, Lesson 35. Multi-digit multiplication and division, Topic H. Multiplication of two-digit by two-digit numbers. We're going to begin by multiplying 30 times 25. So we're going to find the product of 30 and 25 using an area model. So let's think about 30 times 25. I can break up 30. I can rename 30 as 10 times 3. And then I can use the associative property. So I can move the parentheses. So instead of multiplying 10 times 3 first, I can multiply 3 times 25 first. And let's do that using an area model. So here's our area model. And what I know about area is when I multiply the length times the width, I get the inside. I get the square units that would cover the inside. I get the product. So this side, this width side, we're going to say is our 3. So this top portion is going to be 25. But I'm not just going to write 25 up here. I'm going to break 25 apart into 20 and 5. So I'm going to put a line here to show that I have two separate rectangles and together they make one rectangle. So this portion, the length is 20. And this portion over here, the length is 5. 20 plus 5 equals 25. So what this is really showing us is that I have three rows and inside this row I have 20 and inside this row I have 5. So let me show you what that would look like. So you can see this is one row and it has 25 in it. I have this three times. So this is it one time. Here's another row of 20 and another row of 5. Now I have 25 two times. And then here's a row of 20 and here's a row of 5. So now I have 25 three times. But I don't need those squares in there to help me figure out how many squares would be in there. I can use multiplication. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 20. I can think of 20 as being 2 tens. 2 tens times 3 would be 6 tens, which is equal to 60. And then over here I have 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. If I add 20 plus 5 together, I get 25. So if I add 60 plus 15 together, I would get 75. The answer to 3 times 25, the product of 3 and 25, would be 75. So I've completed this portion of my problem. Now I have to multiply it by 10. So 75 times 10 would be 75 tens. And 75 tens is 750. Now let's compare our product 750 to an area model where we just multiply 30 times 25. So here I have an area model where I'm multiplying 30 times 25. This time I'm going to multiply 30 times 20 and I'm going to multiply 30 times 5. When I multiply 30 times 20 I can think about it being 3 tens times 2 tens. If I multiply 3 times 2 I get 6. If I multiply 10 times 10 I get 100. So my answer, my product of that would be 600. So let's look at 30 times 5. I can think about it being 3 tens times 5. 3 tens times 5 would be 15 tens. 15 tens is equal to 150. 
So if I add 600 plus 150, I would get 750. My product is the same. Now let's find a product of 60 and 34 using an area model. And while we do that, we're going to record the partial products to help us solve. Okay, so here's our area model. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about this side being the 60. That's here. And then I'm going to think about 34, and I'm going to break up 34 into 30 plus 4. So I'm going to put 30 here and 4 over here. So I'm going to have to draw a line in my area model to show that I'm separating it into two parts. Now this part, I'm going to be multiplying 60 times 30. And in this part, I'm going to multiply 60 times 4. Well, let's do 60 times 4 first. If I multiply, if I think about 60 being 6 tens, I can multiply and say 4 times 6 is 24. So 4 times 6 tens would be 24 tens. Now I multiply 30 times 60. I can think about this being 3 tens times 6 tens. 6 times 3 is 18. 10 times 10 is 100. So that would be 1800. If I add 240 and 1800 together, well, 0 plus 0 is 0, 4 plus 0 is 4, 2 plus 8 is 10, and 1 plus 1 would be 2. So this is how I record partial products. It would be the product of this portion and the product of this portion. I write them here, add them together. and I get the product of 34 times 60. Let's find the product of 90 and 34 without using an area model. Well, let's take a look at this and let's think about it a little bit. If we were using an area model, what would it look like? Well, this is what our area model would look like. I would have 90 on this side and I would take 34 and break it up into 30 and 4. Then I'm going to multiply 90 and 30 to find this portion. And then I would multiply 90 times 4 to find this portion. So that would look like this. 90 times 4 giving me this area. And 90 times 30 giving me this area. So I'm going to put my area model away and we're just going to use this. So, 90 times 4. I can think about 90 being 9 tens. 4 times 9 tens is 36 tens. 36 tens is 360. 90 times 30, I would think about as being 9 tens times 3 tens. 9 times 3 is 27. 10 times 10 is 100. So the, so the product would be 2,700. Then I would need to add those two partial products together to get the full product. 0 plus 0 is 0. 6 plus 0 is 6. 7 plus 3 is 10. 2 plus 1 is 3. So my full product for 90 times 34 would be 3,060. Let's take a look at what the problem set's going to look like. It says use an area model to represent the following expression, then record the partial products and solve. So here's what we have to multiply, 20 times 22. We're going to begin by using our area model. So I'm going to have one side that's going to be 20. That'll be this 20. And then this portion is going to be 22, but I'm going to break it up. 
I'm going to have 20 here and 2 here. So to solve this one, I would multiply 20 times 20. To solve this portion, or this partial, this part of the area model, I would multiply 20 times 2. Now over here is where I'm going to put my 20 times 2, which would be this part. And then my 20 times 20, I'm going to put here. So this product will be here. My full product is going to be when I add these two parts together. So let's see what 20 times 2 is going to be. I can think of 20 as being two tens. 2 times 2 tens would be 4 tens, and 4 tens is equal to 40. So 20 times 2 was 40. 20 times 20 I can think of as being 2 tens times 2 tens. 2 times 2 is 4. 10 times 10 is 100. So that would be 400. So 20 times 20 was 400. 20 times 20 is 400. So when I add this together, 400 plus 40, well 400 plus 40 is 440. Alright, that's going to take care of lesson 35. We've been working to multiply two digit multiples of 10 by two digit numbers using the area model. The collection of videos can be found at tinyurl.com slash lpssmath4. And if you want to get more resources and the videos, you can go to lpssonline.com, hover over Parent Command Center and scroll down to Math Resources. Click there. It'll take you to fourth grade. Click that. And it'll bring you to our newsletters. If you click this topic H, you will get the newsletter that goes along with Topic H. And if you scroll down to the bottom of that page, you can get to the helpful videos.